By now, I'm sure you've heard about the volcano that erupted in Tonga. I wanted to show you these high-definition satellite images of the actual island. Here's the caldera. This is a few days before the eruption, and this is following the eruption. You can see how it basically just destroyed itself. All of this is water, splitting the island in two. Now, this particular island is one of about 170, and they're all located about 2,000 miles on the east side of Australia. Most of them are uninhabited, which is good. When this thing erupted, not only did it cause tsunami concerns, it also sent a shockwave across the globe. You can see the west coast of here. They did see some impacts, not just with water, but also with pressure. In fact, if we look at altimeter changes, you can see how this shockwave traveled across the country. Here it is in California. You can see these red indications showing the pressure drops. And almost 12 hours after the eruption, we picked up that pressure drop in Michigan. To further prove this, we can look at spots like Alpena. You can see a pressure drop at that time, a very similar pressure drop reported at the Houghton Lake Station. We also have another pressure drop at Lansing, and finally, one at Sault Ste. Marie. So the volcanic eruption in the South Pacific was detected here in Michigan.